Rawr! DPMS uh, Panther Arms uh, AK in the box. Uh, I want to show you the box. Uh, this is uh, how I got uh, this uh, rifle. You can see the Black Panther. Uh, that's a nice, uh, nice touch for the minorities here to accent uh, that uh, they should get the AK too. So let's open the box and we'll see what's in the box, right? Hey, look at that. So this is um, this is a plum AK and uh, let me first strip the condom from the charging handle and remove this from the chamber, nothing in the chamber, safety up, plum magazine <laughs> in. So black panther on the box but the plum color rifle. I'm kind of confused on the message here plum and the black I was expecting the black rifle anyway uh, there is no cleaning rod hold on guys hold on let me see if there is a cleaning rod maybe nope there is nothing at the bottom look I'm not I'm not cheating nothing at the bottom uh, and nothing here all right so there's no no cleaning rod uh, box box you can go here let's focus on the rifle so the name for the rifle is uh, Anvil and the price is, you should get it from your local dealer for, a, for around uh, 750, 800, depends how much the local gun store uh, will charge or what is their deal with uh, DPMS. Uh, right off the box, I will tell you that uh, this uh, rifle looks very familiar to the Palmetto State Armory uh, rifles. Right? I mean, if you will look at the markings and everything, but on the receiver it says DPMS, West Columbia, South Carolina, caliber 7.62, model, model Anvil. So, uh, DPMS is owned by Palmetto State Armory. So, I'm not surprised. And look at that, the magazine is made by the Palmetto State Armory. So, the magazine is Palmetto State Armory. And as I said, it looks very similar uh, with the GF series rifles. Of course, they say that the trunnion is forged and the bolt carrier is uh, forged as well. Barrel is 4150 nitrided. So that's the spec, paper spec on the DPMS side let me start taking this apart we'll see so the recoil spring yeah this is basically uh, oh here is something on the trunnion on the trunnion it says 4340 aq 762 and there's some uh, logo shield on it but yeah this is this is looking um this looking very much like palmetto state armory outside um, the box and you can see the similar markings on the on the bolt carrier and uh, bolt carrier looks very similar too to what we can see from palmetto state armory but you got those there is the shield again shield mark uh, on the bolt that's something different from uh, palmetto state armory but then there is a bolt number in a similar style done as on the PSA rifle. I'll take the gloves off because I want a finger, finger, uh, you know what? <laughs> the hole, there is nothing. There is a, there is a hole in the butt stack, but there is uh, no cleaning kit. So no cleaning kit and uh, no cleaning rod. I wonder why there is no cleaning rods uh, with, uh, at least in, in mine, there is no cleaning rod in the box. Um, now let me pop, oh, that, the lever went nice. Let me pop out the gas tube and, oh, here is uh, for the Pirates Union. Uh, and uh, gas tube uh, work out nicely, but uh, you can see it was fitted right here to the to uh, as we know with those new AKs so very often you're getting and it's hard to pull out the gas tube so that one was fitted 
and uh, that's the marking here. Uh, other than this, everything here looks very clean. Let me check the rivets, guys. Uh, everything here is looking good. Those rivets are looking good. And those are under the light, nothing peeks through. So this is initial quality, I would say. Uh, this is looking very clean uh, and very nice. Now, of course, we have to see uh, how this rifle going to work. This is donated rifle. Uh, I did not purchase this rifle, so this rifle will go back to you guys. I'm going to give it away. Uh, I'm just going to put some stress on it and I'm going to give that rifle away to uh, one of uh, lucky you bastards. Uh, but we're going to have some fun uh, with it. We'll see what is the big idea. Uh, from my understanding, those rifles are meant to be sold uh, mainly through the local gun stores and in my gun store they are of course local gun store they are of course uh, present already and i seen some online dealers too selling them uh, and uh, it, it's basically that dpms starts popping up uh, popping out everywhere so we will see how these rifles will do the price uh, i seen the prices differ from anywhere from 750 to past 800 dollars so you can shop for for a good deal basically and look who's getting a better uh, deal on those rifles but outside i'm telling you this is looking like gf series uh, from palmetto state armory and uh as i said the dpms and someone can correct me if you got the better info but the dpms is on by palmetto state armory so no surprise here surprising fact is that the dpms is making the AKs, <laughs> right uh but this is uh this is basically uh, right off the bat this is what is uh looking like here and a very clean rifle from outside and uh, fit and everything here is looking good as i said time to go and squeeze some rounds down the range we are going to do the uh, basically all the torture tests in the next uh, episode just to have fun just just to put the natural uh, scratches dents and patina on it then i will sign it and i'll give it uh, back to you guys one of you lucky bastards will, is going to win that rifle uh, i'll post the details in the last or the next video all right around in the chamber let's see if we can hit anything change it to 100 setting only we'll see Okay, that was a hit on the target. Uh, that was only 50 yards, but uh, let me extend to that one. That one is 100. That was hit too. Not bad. That was mid. Yeah, I think we're going to the right a little bit. There you go. There you go. Okay, let me switch to that one. Hit. Hit. And that's a hit. So not bad. Uh, I'll have to fine tune that zero a little bit uh, because there is a shift, slight shift, but uh, right off the bat, we are reaching out to 100 yards. Uh, so uh, the sights should be fairly close and of course my ammo lot could be a little bit different uh, but uh, right out the box you can start having a fun with uh, that uh, rifle so I'll fine tune the zero and uh, we'll do some other things let me see uh, in a second I'll prepare the magazines different magazines we'll see how it is dealing with uh, the steel mags and things like this okay this is the first test uh, these are specially prepared rounds <laughs> As you can see, times are difficult. We are digging out deep, deep reserves. Uh, there is a rust on those. Uh, they are from, I'll put it, put it like here so I can get the good picture. Uh, these are from the flooded uh, basement. 
storage so uh, we are going to put them to the magazine and I want to see that's a polymer Bulgarian mag I want to see a few different mags how's this uh, feeling like but uh, we can kill two birds with uh, one rack right so I'm going to remove their magazine and here comes it's a good positive locking on that magazine I got the one round in the chamber already from this magazine so let me see how the other rounds will go okay all rusted ones <laughs> went through look at that it's even rusted metal uh very nice all right pmeg pmeg let's see it positively locked no wobbling no nothing round in the chamber few rounds okay all right nothing in the chamber again and the steel mag steel mag with uh mixture of ammo too as you can see we keep switching the ammo that one locked positively too very nice removal one more time no wobbling hey this is sitting really nice round in the chamber and that's it bolt hold open so you guys can see the chamber everything work out nicely here all right so we went uh, through the oh just for fun let's finish that mag this is the original mag which the rifle came uh, with this Palmetto State Armory mag. Okay, there you go. And nothing uh, in the mag. So we went through the Palmetto State Armory mag, surplus steel mag, Bulgarian polymer mag, and the Magpul uh, magazine feeding uh, goes smooth and uh, no issues whatsoever now i will tell you from the basic observations uh, from shooting this rifle it has some snappy recoil uh, i was uh, you had to probably push that uh, butt plate to your arm or you're going to get that movement and i got uh, slapped like a little bitch with the stock so uh, this is this is why I really like using the pad at the end and it's not to absorb the recoil but to prevent the sliding of uh, that metal that which uh, all these companies are using right now on the butt plate is not really uh, resistant to the sliding so you cannot control the stock as you should uh, but that's the first observation which I'm getting from uh, from shooting the rifle uh, but it cycled, it ate up even the rusted old ammo. So the next episode uh, will be, we'll really focus on accuracy, what you can squeeze out from it. And we're going to torture test or we'll go through all the tortures uh, at once. And we'll see how this our rifle is going to handle it. So stay tuned to the mini series on the anvil from DPMS. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for being with us. As always, I'm very, very grateful, guys. Bye. See you in the next video.